So this is my first worksheet introducing rotations. And I know a rotation is a turn. A translation is a slide, a reflection is a flip, a rotation is a turn. And I always want to think about rotating around a point. So I could think about rotating this paper around a point in the middle of the paper. So I'm turning it around. Or I could think of having a point here and having this paper rotate around it, sort of orbit it. I could have it this point right in the middle, and I could have it turning around the point. Okay, so the first question is to draw a shape on some patty paper or some tracing paper, and to draw a point next to it, and I try to use the tracing paper to rotate the shape around the point. So I drew a shape, and I drew a point, I drew them randomly, I drew them anywhere. And one way I could do it is to just put my finger at the center of the paper and just spin it. I'm rotating it like that. Notice that the shape is always staying the same distance away from the point when I do this. Another way I could do it to get another piece of paper, trace the shape. trace the point, and now I can spin this around and I can still see the original. I can also see how far I've turned. So if I want to turn it 90 degrees, I'm just going to go until these two shapes look perpendicular to each other. I can check, I can see, does this line look perpendicular to that line? Yep. Does that line look perpendicular to that line? Yep. Does this line look perpendicular to this line? Yep. Looks like they're at 90 degree angles from each other. Okay, now I don't have a ruler and a protractor here at home, so I'm just gonna freehand the next one. It tells me to draw a point, a shape and a point on regular paper. And I want to rotate the shape about the point. So I'm just gonna do it on the back. I'm gonna draw a triangle. I'm gonna draw a point. And I'm going to try to rotate it 90 degrees. So I know that I want my whole shape to be 90 degrees away. And I think this also might mean that I want each of the points on my shape to be 90 degree, degrees away from the corresponding point. I'm going to test that. I'm going to see if it looks right. Okay. I know when I'm turning things around, my shapes are always going to stay the same distance away from my point that I'm turning it around. So I'm gonna draw a line in from this point, let's call it A. Then I'm gonna draw a line out the same distance, that looks about the same distance. And I'm gonna do A prime right there. Let's call this B. Draw a line in some distance. And then I'm gonna make a 90 degree angle, because that was a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna make a 90 degree angle, and I'm gonna go the same distance out. So I think that B should be about here, B prime. There it is. Then I'm going to draw a line in from my point C, make a 90 degree angle. That should put it maybe a little bit above point A prime and a little bit farther out. Uh, I'm going to say it's here, B pr C prime rather. Then I'm going to connect the dots and I'm going to see if it looks okay. This is a free hand, so it won't look perfect. Okay, I got that. Now I'm going to check it. Do a dot there. And I'm going to trace over. What to do? I'm going to draw a line. And then I'm going to put my finger in the middle there. And ooh, it's close. It almost falls on top of that. Not quite. But I can still tell I probably did the rotation approximately right. Now the last question asked me to rotate triangle ABC 180 degrees about the origin. So the point we're rotating about is the origin. 0, 0. And I know I want these points to be the same distance away from the origin in the image as they are in the original. 
and I also know that I want every point to be 180 degrees away from the corresponding point. Because I think if we're, I'm going to flip this entire shape 180 degrees, I'm also going to have to flip each of the individual points 180 degrees. At least that's my theory right now. So I'm going to take B, and it's two away from the origin. I want it to stay the same distance away. So I'm going to go down two away. And then I'm going to make a 180 degree angle, which is just a straight line. Keeping it two away from the origin. I'm going to say that this is B prime. And then for A, it's five away. Keeping it five away, making a 180 degree angle, I think it's going to end up right here. And for C, it's a little bit tricky, but it seems like to get to the origin, you could go three over and two up. So to keep it the same distance away, I'm going to go three over and two down. That seems like the same distance. So this. I'm going to sort of make a string down to there. And this is going to be C prime. And then I'm going to connect them to make a triangle. And I'm just going to use my common sense a little bit and be like, does this look right? Does it look like if I turned it about that point, I would get that shape? And I can actually check it. I'm just going to put my finger in the middle of the paper. And I'm going to go 180 degrees. And yeah, it looks like my original image. So here I'm going to show that again. My original image, I can see that it was pointing right. It was in the first quadrant. So I went counterclockwise 180 degrees. And it looks like my image turned back into my original. When I undid the, the rotation, it should turn back into the original, and it did. So we did, did the uh, rotation, and now we're just undoing the rotation. It's going to turn back into the original. Okay, awesome. Now this next paper is going to ask me to do another rotation. And then it's going to ask me to make a rule that turns the x and y coordinates of the points on this triangle into the corresponding point on A prime, B prime, C prime, which is this triangle rotated 90 degrees about the origin. A little note about rotations is that whenever it's specif whenever a rotation is specified, unless, unless they explicitly say that you rotate clockwise, you always rotate counterclockwise. So whenever you do a rotation, assume that you're rotating the shape counterclockwise. It's a strange mathematical convention. I don't know why it is. So what I'm going to do for this problem is I'm going to find the coordinates of A, B, and C, transform the shape, find the new coordinates of A prime, B prime, and C prime, and see how those X and Y values changed. And for this table, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shape on this page and I'm going to see what happens when I rotate it 90 degrees, which I already did. Rotate 180 degrees, rotate 270 degrees, and rotate 360 degrees all the way around. So I can use this paper to test. And I'm going to see how my coordinates change, and then I'm going to see if I can write a general rule based on my observations. I hope now you're ready to start this sheet. I hope you have a fun time learning about some rotations.